السلام عليكم ورحمة الله إن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما بسم الله والحمد لله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله بسم الله والحمد لله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله Welcome to all our viewers on another episode of the Echoes of Medina Nasheed Shah, my name is Muhammad Mahfouz I hope you are well in the best of health, the best state of Iman May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all for tuning in on this blessed night, the blessed day of Yom al Jumaa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you all many prosperous openings Ameen, Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen Alhamdulillah dear viewers As you have all witnessed and been seeing on the news and on all media platforms uh, a huge devastating uh, tsunami and earthquake and volcano erupting has happened in Indonesia in an area called uh, Palu Allahu Akbar much devastation many uh, people have lost their lives many children have lost their fathers mothers and many parents have lost their children Allahu Akbar Islamic help dear viewers are on the ground at this moment as we speak right now distributing uh, aid on your behalf Alhamdulillah doing a fantastic job uh, I've been watching the documentaries and we will also show you later on halfway through this program a, a beautiful documentary of the works uh, that they are doing and also of the devastation that has occurred uh, due to this uh, tsunami and uh, earthquake and the aftermath of what's happened there as well so do stay tuned we will show you that uh, very important documentary later on but before all of that dear viewers we have a very special guest with us tonight you might have, might have seen the the messages that's been circulating we have the world renowned Qari Abdul Rahman Tawqan Hafizahullah Ta'ala uh, who is from Morocco Alhamdulillah he is with us tonight uh, very famous indeed. I cannot stress to you how famous he is, alhamdulillah. Uh, but he is in the studio and he is ready uh, to bless you all with beautiful uh, praises of Allah and the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and beautiful recitation from the Holy Quran al Karim, inshallah ta'ala. So, the number to call, dear viewers, uh, for the Islamic Help uh, donation hotline, alhamdulillah, uh, to donate your money. Uh, to assist these people, alhamdulillah, the number to call is 0121-446-5682 That is 0121-446-5682 Alhamdulillah, these brothers, uh, they are on the ground and these are people that we already we know as well, they are on the ground uh, They've loaded 1,000 tons of aid onto a boat, massive ship uh, with further four to 5,000 to uh, again be loaded onto these ships Allahu Akbar and they are also already in Palu distributing all of this uh, aid to them and they will be doing a few more uh, distributions uh, on your behalf ta'ala. so please do ring that donation hotline number that you see in red um, and pledge whatever you can and help these very very destitute and vulnerable people inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Give you all the ability and the tawfiq. Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen. Now we'll listen to some beautiful Quranic recitation <coughs> from the one and only, the famous Sheikh Qari Abdul Rahman Tawqan, Hafizahullah Ta'ala. Bismillah. <coughs> 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن تقينا ما فاز الحدائق وأعنابا وكواعب أترابا وكأسا دهاقا لا جزاء من ربك عطاء حسابا سبحان الله رب السماوات والارض وما يوم يقوم الروح والملائكة صفا لا يتكلمون إلا من أذن له الرحمن لا يتكلمون إلا من أذن له الرحمن وقال صوابا سبحان الله ذلك اليوم الحق فمن شاء اتخذ إلى يوم ينظر المرء ما قدمت يداه ويقول الكافر يا ليتني كنت ترابا صلى الله العظيم Subhanallah, beautiful, beautiful, heart-touching recitation by Qari Abdul Rahman Tawqan, Hafizahullah Ta'ala. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless that beautiful recitation and may it be sent as a gift to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam and as Sadqai Jariya to all the believers from the time of Sayyidina Adam Alayhi Salatu Wa Sallam up until the day of Yawm Al Qiyamah. Ameen, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah. We also have in the studio, dear viewers, to the furthest to my right hand side, <coughs> we have Muhammad Namir Khan, Alhamdulillah, who is uh, one of the admins, Alhamdulillah, uh, for the Siraj and Munira Education Centre. Alhamdulillah, he's doing fantastic works there. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. And also a, a 
Munshid of the Ahlam Mahabba Nasheed group. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and we'll be listening to from him in a short while. Uh, some questions that he has for our dear guests. So Muhammad Namir, fire away. So I just wanted to ask a few questions to um, Sheikh Abdurrahman. Um, Sheikh, where, where did you uh, initially study um, your Quran? Uh, I initially studied, uh, I did one year in uh, Morocco and uh, one year in France, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, and how long did it take you to um, kind of... To do Hafs, you mean? Uh, your Hafs uh, and, and your Qirat as well, how to, uh, uh, in terms of your Qirat as well? Total, I mean, like th three years. About three years? Yes, MashaAllah. Okay, okay, Alhamdulillah. And um, in terms of the actual um, recitation, obviously you d recite in different variations, yeah. I believe. Uh, what is your favorite variation? Uh, you mean uh, my favorite reciter, Quran or uh, Maqam? Uh, the Maqam that you recite in. Uh, I like Maqam Rast, it's one of my favorite ones. Okay, and wh where does this originate from? <coughs> I mean the origin, it's like from Sham. From Sham? Yeah. MashaAllah. Sham is supposed to be a blessed place yeah. as well. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. So, do you have do you have um, an example of the the maqam? Was it the maqam, maqam you maqam recited with now? Or? No, it's another one. <coughs> the r r rust one is it? Yeah. How does that go? Is it? Has it got so, a bit of an accent yeah. to it? You want an example? Yeah, like, yeah. We'd like yeah, yeah. An example. Just for the viewers. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Let's make an, uh, with Surah Al-Fatihah, for example. <coughs> الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضوار Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Subhanallah. So you know, you, you know when you do tarawi, for example, yes. what do you use any particular maqam or do you do uh, any uh, kind of style? Most of them. Maybe. You do everything. Yeah. Mashallah, mashallah. So it must be difficult, isn't it? Uh, when you get used to it, it comes. Like once you get, once you get into the flow, basically. Exactly. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, mashallah, so mashallah. I believe that recently you actually went to um, uh, uh, big, Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Muslim Fest. For Muslim I believe. Fest, exactly. Mashallah. So, uh, could you just explain um, what happens in Muslim Fest and uh, why uh, you were there? And Alhamdulillah, was I was invited there. I had to perform uh, a few in sheets. I had. Uh, okay, I, I met a few big artists. Mashallah. Yeah. It was one of my best experiences. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Whereabouts does that take place in uh, Canada? In Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Like That's probably the one of the biggest uh, Muslim fest in the world, isn't it? Uh, yes. I would say because like, you get thousands and thousands, exactly, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. A big crowd, big stage. They got shops everywhere. They got. Yeah. They got. Do people travel from the, uh, around the world just to go to that place? Exactly. Came from from uh, USA, from many many countries. Subhanallah. And what, uh, what did you do? Did you do a Quran recitation there, or did you do nasheeds? Well? Nasheeds. Oh, you did nasheeds there. Yeah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And how, how long does that festival last? Is it a one day festival or is it several days? Uh, like three days. Yeah. And all three, all three days exactly. you're practicing, you're uh, re no, reciting? No, the festival is for three days, but I performed uh, one day. So is it, uh, so do all the, do all the performances happen in one particular day uh, or? No, during the, uh, the three days. So everybody has a slot. Exactly, and, yes. oh, okay, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. <coughs> so that was a good, a good, beautiful experience that must have been. Yeah, definitely. Hey, how long is the flight there then? About seven hours. Subhanallah. Yeah. The, all all uh, Atl Atlantic, isn't it? Is it Atlantic? Yes, exactly. So there's no Atlantic. Yeah. There's emergency. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do they teach you all that when in the plane? Uh, they teach you what? Like you know mm -hmm. the water landing and all that. Do, mm -hmm. do they talk about that kind of stuff? I wasn't looking at this <laughs> actually. <laughs> Subhanallah. So just getting back <coughs> into the Quran, um, I, I love to ask every uh, Qari or Quran uh, this question. Mm. And, um, you know, everyone has a particular favorite surah in the Qur'an um, or, or, or most people have. Yeah. Um, so, Shaykh, what's your favorite uh, surah in the Qur'an? Mm. What do you enjoy uh, reciting most? Which surah? It's a tough one. Uh, 
I think you're gonna like it as well. It's uh, uh, Surat Yusuf. Subhanallah. And, Most and people like this. Um, and any particular reason any why particular you like this? Reason or because it's a long story. Yeah, so you know, it's very nice, especially if you understand every part of it. You know. Subhanallah. You can. Uh, does it relate to your own experiences and? No, no, special. But I mean, when you read it, you can understand many things. I'm talking about that. How important is it to understand the Quran whilst Arabic, reciting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Is it? Uh, it's, so, it's something which is getting becoming forgotten, isn't it? Exactly. Because like, like, you know, like Sheikh Fadi, he was saying that you know, like even Arab people, they're getting into this trend of not liking Arab, Arabic. They like the English language more. Mm -hmm. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? In, in your, I mean, you have, you have to learn Arabic anyway. You know. Yeah. yeah. It's the language of Allah, is, uh, you know, the, exactly. the and the, the 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 language of. I mean, when you, when you understand it, when you learn it, you enjoy it more. Yeah. Yes. Subhanallah. And, uh, listening subhanallah. to Quran. Subhanallah, subhanallah. subhanallah. Beautiful words of wisdom by our honourable uh, guest Qari Abdul Rahman Tawqan, Hafizahullah Taala. Now we will listen to Anashid. Okay. Inshallah, and then we'll uh, play the the documentary. Of Islamic help on ground in uh, Indonesia, inshallah ta'ala. So, <coughs> we'll listen to some beautiful nasheed now, inshallah. Then, uh, sing with me, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Sing, sing with inshallah, me. inshallah. We'll join in with him, inshallah. <laughs> yeah, Imam Rusli? Yeah, bismillah, mashallah, mashallah. <coughs> you join in at home, dear viewers, as well. Bismillah. Ya Imam Rusli, ya Sanadi, Allah, Allah. أنت باب الله معتمد ففي دنياي وآخرتي الله الله يا رسول الله خذ بيدي ما رأت عين ولا نلقاها في الورى في الورى بشر خير من فوق السماء سرى الله الله طاهر الأخلاق والشمال يا إمام الرسل يا سندي الله الله أنت باب الله معتمدي ففي الدنيا يا وآخرتي الله الله يا رسول الله Subhanallah, subhanallah, beautiful, beautiful recitation of the uh, renowned and famous poem Ya Imam al-Rusli, Ya Sanadi, subhanallah, something which is always recited throughout the world, alhamdulillah, by all uh, munshids and in all gatherings of salawat ala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless that recitation, may it be sent as a gift to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, ameen ya rabbal alameen. Now, Dear viewers, we'll play uh, back a seven-minute documentary uh, for you all. And the, the studio hotline number, you can see in uh, red below your screens, 0121-446-5682. Uh, if you ring that studio, uh, that hotline number, uh, and give your pledge in to that number. But please do watch this documentary attentively, and we'll see you after seven minutes, inshallah.
nature's beauty dazzled am I Knowing everything calls on you, the Lord Most High Allah, Allah, Adina Jami'an Allah, Allah, Adina Jami'an Allahu 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 Allah Allahu 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 Allah Allahu 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 Allah Allahu 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 Allah Rahmate
Knowing everything comes on you, the Lord Most High. Allah, 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 Welcome back dear viewers, I hope you've watched that uh, documentary and understood the level of devastation which has occurred in Indonesia in the area of Palu. SubhanAllah, many people have lost their lives. We've just been watching the documentary uh, with you all uh, and we're just talking about it, the level of devastation uh, from uh, the bird's eye view, SubhanAllah, it's so vast, acres and acres of land. Uh, completely destroyed people's agriculture, livestock, everything just completely gone. Water contaminated, so there's no safe drinking water as it's uh, been contaminated with this, uh, the, the sea water or uh, the sewage water. So it's unsafe uh, f for people to even consume that water. Uh, diseases will be on the rise, no doubt. Cholera, malaria, all these other uh, big diseases will be on the rise as well. SubhanAllah, these people are in a dire, dire need uh, and the only people that can help them is obviously Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you dear viewers, you are the, the means of them uh, to be uh, assisted inshallah ta'ala. So the number to call uh, dear viewers is, you can see at the bottom of your screen in the red, uh, the hotline number 0121-446-5682, that is 0121-446-5682. Or you can also go on to islamichelp.org.uk and you can do it uh, online. Uh, you can give your pledges in there. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you the tawfiq to uh, give to these uh, these people for this cause, inshallah ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant relief to the beautiful people of Indonesia and to all Muslims wherever they are around the world. Ameen. Ameen ya rabbal alameen. Now, again, we'll start. Dear viewers, with beautiful Quranic recitation from our honorable guest, the world famous Qari Abdul Rahman Tawqan, Hafizahullah Ta'ala. Bismillah. A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون سبحان الله كل آمن بالله
لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله سبحان الله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذ ربنا لا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا لا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى وللآخرة خير لك من ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى وجدك ضالا فهدى وجدك بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس
الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس صدق الله العظيم سبحان الله beautiful beautiful recitation by our very own Qari Abdul Rahman Tawqan, Hafizahullah Ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless that beautiful recitation. May it be sent as a gift to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Ameen ya rabbal alameen. And may it be sent as a form of sadqa jariya to all the believers from the time of Sayyidina Adam alayhi salatu wa salam up until the day of Yawm al-Qiyamah. Ameen, ameen, ameen ya rabbal alameen. And may, may through these verses May relief come to the beautiful people of Indonesia, for the people of Burma, for the people of Kashmir, for the people of Syria, Yemen, Palestine, and for the people of Africa, wherever they are around the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant relief to all these beautiful people by the means of these beautiful verses. Ameen, ameen, ya rabbal alameen. Now, some new, more questions for our honorable guests, subhanAllah. I'd like to ask you a question. Yes. If you, don't mind. you know, for uh, breath practicing, for example, yeah. you know, like keeping uh, reading long um, lots of verses in one breath, is there like a, a way, a practice for this or a practice? Obviously, more sport. Sport is the the only thing that I can. Because so, some some people say you know, like swimming. Yes. They say like go in the, swimming, uh, yeah. go go in the water and try yeah. to uh, go under water exactly. and hold your breath. I do this. Is what you I do really, as well? I really, yeah, I do it. I do so it. Like go under the water and you hold your breath for a long exactly. time. Exactly. Subhanallah. So it actually does work, that's, that kind of stuff, isn't it? Yeah, day after day, <coughs> you're going you're gonna to have more breath, definitely. Uh, is that some, I think that's something that the Egyptian people, that's what they do as well. Uh, uh, someone told me that's, that, yeah, that's what they practice. Yeah, swimming, running and... Uh, just lots you know, of sports to get yeah. the lungs expanding. Workouts and everything. Yes, yeah, yeah. subhanallah, subhanallah. Beautiful tip from our Honourable Sheikh, subhanAllah. Namir, you've got a few questions as well. Um, yeah, well, uh, some of my questions. Um, well, first of all, obviously, we now know uh, you do swimming. So, um, just besides the Qur'an, what other sports are you involved in? Is there anything that you like? What are your interests and hobbies? Just so that the viewers can um, yeah. get to know you a little more, um, what you do, um, uh, you know, apart from... Because there's this notion yes. uh, that... People that are uh, Qadis or people that are Sheikhs. Like, for example, Sheikh Fadi, for example, he does wrestling, he does boxing. Like, you know, we went really? to his house and he's got one of you know, those clips that you have on the ceiling. Amazing. He put a punch bag on. Yeah. So he says he does workout. He's quite, he's, yeah. he's quite uh, big, actually. Yeah. So he does like work, workouts there and he's like yeah. a, a half of hadith in it. He's 10,000 hadith he's memorized in it. So he's, he, he, he does all these exercises. Mm -hmm. And there's this bad, there's this notion within like the, the Muslim community that. If you're a if you're a scholar, you can't do this kind of stuff, or no, no. or they don't do this, innit? Mm -hmm. You know, they the, you know they just think about their stomachs and that. So, <laughs> what do you, is is this? Uh, what do you do in your spare time? I, I really like playing uh, football, but I, I do swimming more than uh, than everything. Okay, so foot football, yeah. Yes. Well, that leads me to the next question. Who's your uh, favorite team? <laughs> My favorite team as a. Uh, Morocco. So viewer discretion Girl is needed here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Juventus. Juventus. Oh, oh so Juventus. Juventus. Yeah. So, that's right then. Isn't it? So yeah, very none neutral. Of the, none of the British people will be offended now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so apart from that, um, in terms of your recitation of the Quran, yeah. um, one of the questions I had as well in my mind is, uh, what is it that you do to maintain your voice? Um, and how do you maintain it? Is there anything that any anything special that you eat, maybe, or maybe you have something on a regular basis to uh, you know try and keep up with um, your voice? Because I know uh, you know reciting the Quran takes a lot f out of your uh, voice as well. Um, and I, I know um, you know Qari Mahfouz he, he mentioned about the uh, breaths, uh, taking the breaths in and mm -hmm. out, etc. Um, but in terms of your actual throat, um, is there anything special, a remedy maybe, or any tips remedy, that you can give to any Qaris out there? The first of all, I yep. mean, um, the Qari, 
they 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 nearly recite and sing the sheets every day, you know. So just okay. about practicing, trying to listen to new uh, recite all the recitals, try to imitate. This is how you're gonna keep a nice smooth voice and everything. Mashallah. So, um, which Qari do you most imitate? Uh, I grew up listening to Qari Minshawi, Sheikh uh, Minshawi, and uh, I love a Moroccan reciter. His name is uh, Omar Al Qazabari. Mashallah. These two are my best. Uh, Haven't heard of them, but Inshallah, yeah, I'll definitely look it up. Inshallah. Oh, yeah, so, so um, when you were little, you used to listen to their recitation, and then yeah, you just since. adapted. That's yeah, what. Yeah. That, that's why I used to. When I, when I was little, I used to. Uh, what, you know, like the video, video tapes of Qari Abdul Basir Abdul Samad, I used to. Uh, my sister actually bought it from my sister. She's passed away now. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. May Allah grant her jannah for those. But she uh, purchased this video mm -hmm. of Qari uh, Abdul Basir Abdul Samad, and we used to put it on, on the you know the old VC, uh, yeah. VCR things. VCR, yeah. yeah, we used to play on them. You know the old cassettes, uh, and we used to watch it. And I used to always try and imitate his voice in yeah. it, and try to, you know, even like voice, you know, keeping mm -hmm. like the breath and all that. I used to do that, and I used to. I was quite little actually then. I used to like copy, 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 and you pick up a lot of stuff just by watching. Okay. Uh, you know, like the yeah. mouth as well. This you know? is the, the the main key to to have a nice voice when you when you grow. You know, Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Even, even it, like it, it starts like this. You know, yes, you're well. never gonna have a nice voice <coughs> if you if you start practicing your voice just when you're like 18 years old or 20. It comes since when you. When you're little. Exactly. So you have yeah. to uh, grow that voice basically. Exactly. Isn't it? Subhanallah. Mm -hmm. And uh, like even like uh, Islamic institutions where they, they're teaching uh, Qirat, for example, they, some institutions actually even play back <coughs> the videos of these past reciters so they can learn from their mouth, mm -hmm. isn't it? Is, is that something that you uh, watched as well when you were little, when you were growing yeah, up? Yeah, I recommend this, definitely. You recommend it as well. Subhanallah. Dear viewers, mashallah. Go on online. You can go onto these streaming websites where you can, uh, legal ones obviously, where you can watch all these. Uh, uh, Great, uh, famous Qadis, including the Qadi that we have uh, in front of you, uh, in front of you right now. Subhanallah, you can watch uh, their mouth, especially their mouth, and how they're reciting each letter. Uh, very, very important. Uh, we, we were actually talking about it when we were on our way here. Was it, wasn't we? How important it is to recite uh, the uh, the pronunciations properly of each letter. You're saying that it could potentially change the meaning. Exactly. Yeah. So if you change the meaning. That you could be committing the sin and only isn't it? It's yeah. It's better for you to to really really, really learn the tajweed because this is gonna help you to to pronounce better every Arabic letter. Subhanallah. It's it's something as uh, simple as um, uh, our teachers they say, uh, like for example we say qalb. Yeah. But if you don't say the qalb with a qa, oh. and you say ka, exactly. Kalb. What does kalb mean? It's uh, what kalb means. Dog. 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 Yeah. yeah. So you, instead of saying qalb. Mm -hmm. Uh, heart, isn't it? Exactly. You, you'll be saying kalb. Yeah. Uh, unknowingly, you don't know about this, exactly. but you're actually saying dog instead of a <coughs> heart, isn't it? Yeah, Allah true. purifying your heart, uh, and then you say Allah purifying purifying dog. Your dog. <laughs> you, know, you know, Subhanallah. This is this is how important it is, dear viewers, and this is why I've bought the uh, this great qari in front of you, so you can learn uh, as much as you can by from the recitation. And we did focus uh, more on recitation today. So you can all benefit, uh, as I think it is more important than Nasheed's, uh, the Qur'an. Because uh, this is something which we are forgetting, mm -hmm. unfortunately, in this day and age, how to recite the Qur'an properly. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the ability to learn the Qur'an al kareem properly with a teacher, not from a book or anything like that. They, you need to be in front of a teacher, don't you? Yeah. In order to learn it, you know, subhanAllah. I'm teaching at the moment, alhamdulillah. You're teaching as well. I'm teaching. Subhanallah. Yeah. He's also teaching in Birmingham. Yes. Subhanallah. So his name uh, you'll see under the screen, dear viewers. Qadi Abdul Rahman Tawqan. If you see his name under the screen, uh, you can check his social media out and you can contact him if you have any queries, inshallah ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. Now we'll listen to a very short nasheed from our guest <coughs> and then we'll uh, wrap up the program with a special from our guest. No, no, no. He's, he's always on the program, isn't it? He's old school. He's old, he's, he's old school now, isn't it? Kun ma'allahi
رسول الله كن مع الله ترى الله معك واترك الكل وحذر طمعك لا إله Subhanallah, Subhanallah. You never, you never get tired of listening to uh, Qali Abdul Rahman Tawqan. His voice is just mesmerizing, Subhanallah. And I would say that he, he, I would go to the extent of saying that he is probably the best in the United Kingdom that we have. Alhamdulillah. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala preserve him Ameen. and elevate him and give him the ability to serve the Deen of Islam through his beautiful voice that Allah has blessed him with, to praising Allah and praising the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and to teach the Ummah. Of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the correct way of reciting the Holy Quran, Al Karim, bi iznillahi taala. Amin, amin, ya rabbal alamin. Alhamdulillah, we have come to the end of our program, dear viewers. Alhamdulillah, uh, we've had a, a lot to teach you, and we've been taught ourselves by our honourable guest, and we've also learnt of the tragedies which is unfolding uh, as we speak in Indonesia, where. Countless numbers of bodies are still being excavated uh, from underneath the rubble. Alhamdulillah, subhanAllah, our, uh, one of the uh, people of Islamic help, his name is Faraz, Faraz Yusuf Zai. Uh, he's been sending messages, uh, videos uh, on behalf of Islamic help uh, where they are standing above a house which is un buried under the, the soil where there is potentially either people are alive there or they either they've passed away from this calamity subhanallah so this is what's happening this very moment in time that i'm speaking to you right now dear viewers if you pick up that line right now dear viewers you could be saving a person their life by, for them having uh, clean drinking water uh, food medicine sanitation whatever is needed for them even a house for them to live under until something is sorted for them, you'll be saving a life, dear viewers. So if you can pick up that phone and call that donation hotline on 0121-446-5682, you'll be potentially saving the life of another fellow human being. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you all, give us all the ability and the tawfiq to give in his way. Ameen, ameen, ya rabbal alameen. Inshallah ta'ala, we will ask our dear, viewer, uh, our dear guest, Qadi Abdul Rahman Tawqan, to make a, a prayer, especially for the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and then we'll wrap up the program, inshallah. A small, uh, small prayer, inshallah. A small dua, inshallah. Allahumma hdina fi man hadayi, wa barik lana fi ma aatayit, wa sirf anna bi rahmatika sharr ma qadayit. فإنك تقضي بالحق ولا يقضى عليك إنه لا يعز من عاديت ولا يذل من واليت تباركت ربنا وتعاليت اللهم اجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا وجلاء أحزاننا وذهاب همومنا وهمومنا اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على سيدنا وحبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وأصبح وأصحابه الطيبين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين آمين جزاك الله خير for that إن شاء الله تعالى we'll have our honorable guest in the future programs 
Bismillah ta'ala. Hope you all stay blessed, dear viewers, and hopefully I'll see you all next week. Stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.